Chongqing, China. This city is Big Brother's wet dream with more than 2.5 million cameras covering 15 million people. Privacy is a four-letter word in this place. It's pretty ironic that a cloak and dagger organization like the ICA keeps its most valuable secrets here. You'll find Hush conducting his fringe experiment in an abandoned apartment building. While Imogen Royce, the archivist, runs the day-to-day -day business of the ICA data facility. I just hope you know what you're doing, 47. So sore. Why is that? I fell over because a homeless woman suddenly jumped up right in front of me. You're hiding in the hole. Like what? Oh, it's not like Rain, rain, nothing but rain. You can say that again. I wouldn't mind promotion to inside you. In the block. But it creeps me out how they're different when they leave. Yeah, I'd say they're different when they enter. Come on, you know what I mean. Like, they're not quite there. Some of them in a really bad way. I'd never accept participating in the experiments, no matter how well they pay. No one is asking you to. You just need to keep track of the ones who do. I'm gonna be rich. Get the hell out of here. I got this flyer, and it says I can make a lot of money to be in some experiment. They don't want people like us for that sort of thing. No, they only want people like us. The flyer says so. That means it's too dangerous for rich people. Don't That's got Hush written all over it. Using the desperate for personal gain. Maybe this is a way for you to get to the bastard. Oh, I'm going. This is my chance. I just need to find out where it is. Uh, the flyer has a symbol I need to fly on the food. Umbrella when I'm rich. I am boots. Too close, man. Too close. I'm gonna get an umbrella when I'm rich. I am boots. 
Sit down, get a house. I'm never going out in the rain again. gonna be rich, rich, you hear? Then you won't look at me like I'm failed. No, you won't. I'm not looking at you. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> but who's gonna be on top then, huh? Me. I can buy shit, food, clothes. I can take out your girl if I want to. Hey, listen. Ignore him. He's crazy, come on. Just let it go. Why not? Okay. Yeah. I should get a girl, whatever. He's me. crazy. A nice one. I'll scrub up, get real nice, get my hair done, get him with the right people. This chef outfit is really uncomfortable. I wish we didn't have to do all this cloak and dagger stuff every day to get to work. Shh, you can't talk about that stuff up here. Oh, jeez, no one's listening. I'm gonna head in and change into something more comfortable. You coming? I'll be in in a sec. We'll see you down there. Only in that little place. It's three in the morning, and I swear I've been at the four shots running up for work. I think you might have that. How are you today, Let's sir? Let's get you out of the rain, shall we? We just need to frisk you first. Listen, sir, there's no drama. I just need to check your pockets if you want to pass. Just relax. You'll be on your way in a sec. Good. Follow me. You're clean and good to go. What's that smell? It's you. Oh, how can you stand it? Your clothes are so filthy, I can literally taste the stench. When did you last change your outfit? Seriously. I change my clothes all the time. Yeah, I bet you do. It's in there. Go take a seat. Yeah. You okay, you and the other guys do the sign up. The above mentioned is part of the agreement when signed. And you waive all future rights to seek further compensation? Good. Who would you like to benefit from the proceedings if you yourself are incapacitated? Would you excuse me? Oh, so Hush liked the last one I sent up to the top floor. He'll be the one to conclude this phase. I knew Hush would be pleased with him. He signed up for the full package. Strong, too. I'll wrap up down here. 
Thanks, Jun Lee. I was just informed that we don't need any more test subjects tonight. I don't understand. There's no work? Oh no, there will be more to come. Depending on the results of the conclusion to this test phase, come back tomorrow and we'll schedule a new spot for you. Come in and take a seat. I'm sorry to inform you that we have all the test subjects we'll need for tonight. But you're welcome to fill in your information now and come back tomorrow. A guard is waiting outside the door. He'll escort you out of the building when you're back. Help yourself to an apple. Be a trouble. I do need my vitamins. How's that leg healing up? Have you been doing all that shit with resistance bands? That's bugging me a bit, but I'll... Not his mind, the machine. He talks straight to it with his brain, that's all. Yeah, it's weird. It is conditioned with a project and being hooked up to the facility with that impact. For real? For real. For real. How about they give a deal? Where we're all going. Calling in! Calling in! Somebody just got killed. There's a killer on a rampage! We have a security breach. Get out of our way, okay? Oh, God. Uh -oh. Okay, okay. Go ahead, command. No, nothing yet. Goddamn right I'll watch my back. You don't want to go down, too. Right? We need help. Security free. I need you to move now. Copy, command. I hope they added more body bags in the inventory. Hmm. Uh-huh. 
Okay, everything's good. I heard he can use his implant to read our minds. When it blinks, that's what he's trying to do. Proof said that if I keep blinking, I think it's something to change. That's the wrong way. Here, what? Seven, you are. How's this with reading minds? Did you wrap up the pillow and have you been the best yet? I did. There are still a few kinks to work out, but yeah, I have so some I ideas. I think if we diffuse the focal point of the emitter, the tissue damage will be significantly reduced. That, of course, that would also entail that we would use additional strength to get the desired results. Good. Write up your design and I'll get input from Hush. That's easy. I grew up in. You're not quite yourself, I see. That doesn't necessarily mean you never get back to I'm not surprised. I'll check on you in a little while. Sometimes I forget to see the bigger picture. That's him. Oh, Hush the bastard. Wow. He looks a lot older. Oh. 
pose a serious health risk. Please go and relax for a bit. I'm ready to experiment. Oh, good. I'll let Sister Lay know to join us for the experiment then. You're done for now. Come on. We'll get started when Sister Lay is here. He's ready for you, Hush. He looks strong. A good specimen to conclude this phase. So, the test subject came to his senses, I see. Good. Sister Lei, yes. We're about to perform the final test of this project. One-on-one on one with Hush-47. Make him hurt. Ready when you are. Jinli, let's start at 100% signal spec. No. I mean, no, there's no need. The subject is clean, cooperative. I was thinking 25% and then adjust if necessary. 60% is minimum. We'll get no motor control below, and I'm not wasting my time. But... 60. Log concluding experiment H109 initiated. Run calibration 60%. Signal strength 60% confirmed. H109 initiated. Load suggestion motor control 44.1. Execute. The signal's too low. The signal's too weak. We'll get nothing like this. Go to 100%? It's not safe. You've been working too hard. With your condition, it can cause you real physical harm. It's safe. You're strong. You can overcome it. 100%. Do it. Log, continuing experiment H109. Run calibration 100%. Signal strength 100% confirmed. H109 initiated. Good. All good to go. Identify the pulse strength. Load suggestion. Motor control. 44.1. Execute. We need to go higher. I can get to him. Just. Damn it. It's too low. He's got spirit. Come on! Do this! Abort! You're going too far! No! He's on the verge to break him! Go higher! It'll kill him! It's already way beyond reasonable intensity. This subject is abnormally resistant. He's no match for Hush. Nothing worth shit ever came to be without pain. I'm calling it quits, Hush. You need rest. Okay, okay. A short break. And I'll return with a clear head. God damn that assistant. If they'd up the signal, it will kill him. Stay put or stay close. I want you in that chair when Hush and Sister Lei return. I'll stick around. This is groundbreaking research. It's an honor, really. But um, he's under a lot of pressure these days, so if you could just go along with it, okay? Don't try to resist the impulses he sends. I don't want him to exert himself. Can you do that? I'll just follow my impulses. Um, that's not, uh... Okay. Good. Thanks.
one second that you're not spending every waking moment on your pet project. You just focus on your living surroundings and your outfit. Ah, brilliant, son, brilliant. I can't stand this level of incompetence. Hi there. Going down says to see Sister Lane. I need some cheering up. Sorry, sir. I cannot let you through here. Please move on. Excuse me, you're not allowed here, you know. That's it. One foot in front of the other, and goodbye forever. Okay, thank you, sir. This, uh, this will be over in no time. All right, good job, sir. Thank you. Participate in something truly important. Jun Lee. Never mind her. I'll take over. Let's pick it up where we left off, Sister May. At the same signal strength. Yes, 100%. I feel strong. I can take him. Sit down. Log. Continuing experiment, H109. Run calibration, 100%. Signal strength, 100% confirmed. H109 initiated. Now I'll see you do as I command. Identify impulse string. Load suggestion, motor control. 44.1. Exit. Nothing. He is a strong one. Quiet. I can't focus. Oh, damn it. Not again. You'll get nowhere like this. I don't understand. No one's ever resisted like this before. Let's increase the signal and get some results. What do you say, Do 120%. 120. Good. Let's do it. Log, continuing experiment, H109. Run calibration, 120%. H109 continued. 120% signal strength confirmed. Yes. This is it. It's all incredibly sharp. I feel my mind expanding. Identify impulse strength. Load suggestion. Motor control. 44.1. Execute. I... I feel power. I can see you. Every little atom. I'm not scared of you. I could... You got the bastard, Hush. Now go get Image and Royce and we can get to the core.
Hi, sir. If you ever need another guy on your team, I'm your man.
How am I supposed to focus when the kitchen is actually... Find your inner zen. Hi, I'm Chelsea. Close your eyes. Pleased to meet you. I'll be your guide on the facility tour. Spare me the pleasantries. I've had an awful flight. Nine hours to let. Eight, luggage lost somewhere along the way, and the airline is trying to avoid their responsibility. I'm hungry and I'm tired, and I want to straighten everything out before I'm doing your tour. Yes, so sorry about- So, someone is here for a tour of the facility. Might be a way to get in. Flight. Just let me know when you're ready. Oh, did you bring the P-41 we left for you in the apartment? No. I wasn't informed that I should. Oh, very sorry, Mr. Pritchard. We need you to bring the P-41 to get the tour. It's procedure. Please pick it up before you come and find me. I'll be waiting by the stairs in the back of the restaurant kitchen. Are you hungry, sir? The VIP has access to What's it like inside his room? You got a chance to look. I got nothing for you, man. Hello, Mr. Pritchard. I've just learned that your plane will be delayed beyond the lifetime of the entry code you received for the facility. For your convenience, we've set up the new code to be 0118 to match the one for the apartment. I hope you enjoy your stay. Hi, Chen Ting here. Mr. Pritchard, I'm just calling to tell you to bring your P-41 for the facility tour. Thank you. Mr. Pritchard, I just read your report and share your concerns regarding facility leadership behavior. I fully back your decision to inspect, and I would appreciate updates on your initial findings as they come in. Good job. Oh, you got new menus. I had no idea. Uh, do you still have the... Uh, sorry, what? Right, yeah. Uh, just some sparkling water is fine. So, do you... Oh, <laughs> Yeah, so I'd like to get some soup dumplings. Right, sorry, yeah, with the crab. Uh, and how about some of those... Shit, what are they called? The, the crispy ones? Yes, those, perfect. You know what? I'll get a double order. And uh, a plate of the pork bow buns. So much about someone from what they keep around. No, I'm not meeting him at the apartment. He went straight to the restaurant. We're hungry after the nine hours.
I am 24 years old. I'm ready to inspect the facility now. Good. I hope you enjoyed the food. Did you bring the P-41 we left for you in the apartment? Yes. I have everything I need. Good. Let's continue the tour. Continue, you may say. We haven't even started the tour yet. But we have. Without you even noticing it, Mr. Pritchard. Invisibility is the best security there is. The restaurant is, in fact, a front that lets all ICA personnel arrive unseen. Who notices a dumpling cook on his way to work? Dressing the part takes you a long way. ICA guarantees absolute discretion to all clients. We take that promise very seriously, as you will see on all steps of the tour. Let's just... Doesn't look like much, does it? Ms. Chen and visitor, welcome. Please report to security desk for visitor sign-in. Will do. I know the facility AI is really looking out for us. And we're in. The inside is a self-contained modular build that can be disassembled and removed in less than 12 hours if we are compromised. No trace we will ever hear. I agree. Leaving no trace behind is the only sensible MO. The outside shell is a building marked for demolition. We've put a hold on it with city planning. A deliberate misplacement of the order but have people in place to rectify that. At first shift, city construction will move in. Our policy around ICA personnel is that they are a resource, but also a risk. On top of contractual repercussions if breaches occur, we perform detailed vetting on everyone. The first, blunt vetting, is a risk. We have, of course, never had any employees trying to bring unauthorized weapons inside the facility, but we do consider the step important. I'll need to start the setup of your visitor security clearance here, Mr. Pritchard. Could I please have your P-41? Thanks. I'll get the procedure started. It'll just be a few moments, so feel free to have a look around. I'll meet you on the other side of the frisk. Naturally, you'll have to be frisked like everyone else. No exceptions, Mr. Pritchard.
Greetings, sir. Sir, if you want to come through, I'm gonna have to pat you down. This is just standard procedure. Okay, let's go, sir. Thank you. Good, you're here. I've started the security clearance process. It will take a little while since you're covered by the Zero Protocol. All your data will be encrypted and inaccessible without your authorization. Only Facility AI will use it for ID analysis. Fully anonymized, of course. But we can go a few more steps on the tour while it's validating. ID analysis? What the hell does that mean? Give me a minute. I'll try to find out. As I said, personnel is the greatest asset, but also the greatest risk of the ICA. The work we do here exerts high-level pressure on our employees, and there is no room for mistakes. We perform a daily, multi-layered, full-body scan to guarantee that no employee will act erratically because of PTSD or other mental issues, drug use, physical health issues, external pressure, or moral hesitancy. The scan only takes a few seconds. Come on, it's this way inside. I'm sorry, but we can't proceed beyond this room until your security clearance is finalized. So why don't you have a little look around while we wait, Mr. Pritchard? It should be here shortly. Shit. We need to intercept that 47, or the facility AI will blow your cover. Get me to one of those computers and do it fast. You've got 60 seconds before all hell breaks loose. Good, I'm in. And you're safe. That was a close one. There's no way you're getting through that door 47. It only opens for people with an authentic security clearance. The signal is encrypted. Without a dongle, we can't hack it. Perfect timing. Your clearance just came through. Let's continue. So, as you see, we are very serious about security. What we protect is, after all, core to all ICA operations. We, and we alone, store all legal work, contracts, target profiles, employee files, contract documentation and validation, and so forth. Furthermore, we handle all current operations, effectuate logistics of personnel and equipment. Our analysts do the client vetting, target profiles, and of course, offer real-time contract support to handlers and operatives. Storage and transmission of sensitive information like that takes constant vigilance to keep safe. We have a team of engineers solely dedicated to that task, and on top of that, we have a dual human authentication process set up. All access and alterations to the source are authenticated by Hush and Royce through that imp- Oh, good. There she is. That's Imogen Royce. Quite the bitch, apparently. Nothing wrong with her look, though. Edgy. Hi, Imogen Royce. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Likewise. After you. This is the Blast and EMP shielded call room, the nervous system of the ICA, where we store the past and facilitate the present. In general, only a handful of people can access this room. Hush and myself, plus bodyguards, and a chosen few of the engineers. I'm the most likely person to meet in here because I perform a regular physical check-in on the core console as a supplement to the remote authentication procedure. We have a strict routine of daily call maintenance. Part of that procedure is a flash process evaporating all biological matter in the room. You can see Reed through that window. It's her job to initiate the maintenance. Don't worry, we're safe as long as the safety mechanism is engaged. Even if Reed presses the button, the procedure will not happen until we leave the call room. The doors to the call room are all equipped with... You know what? Screw this tour. I know why you're really here. Cunning to the chase, I see. Knowledge is power. More importantly, knowledge is opportunity. 
Let me demonstrate. You have a sixth sense for irregularities. And although Hush's recent behavior has not been reported, it has no doubt brought you here. You do have authority to shut down unwanted efforts, but at heart, you are progressive and not the stickler everyone thinks you are. You have sway with the board, and as I see it, your opinion is now what decides my future and the future of the ICA. So here we go. Imagine this. Having a time schedule on a target with minute details on locations, durations, and purpose. A detailed layout of a target's actions within a defined time frame. That would transform a contract into a surgical dance of precision. No mess, no fuss, low cost. Just how I like it. I've been working on a prediction algorithm based on a combination of big data analysis and micro-targeted surveillance of defining target markers. And my results are astounding. All this state of the art is nothing but heavy old fashioned machinery compared to what I offer. Analysts preparing detailed files, dedicating days, weeks to prepare our contracts, gone. Handlers and analysts supporting our operatives during missions, gone. Teams for cleanup and media manipulation in the rare case something unforeseen does happen, all of it, gone. I asked you to imagine that scenario. But what good is imagination when you can see it with your own eyes? I've set up a little demonstration Looking for good, you. Looking good, man. Looking good. Three employees unaware that I can accurately predict their behavior. Firing them will result in an already clearly defined reaction. On the top left, we have Sharon Reed, who you saw downstairs. She is a dutiful and trusted employee. If she is to be fired, my algorithm predicts with a certainty of 97.8% that she will finish up her most important tasks before she leaves the building. Specifically, she will press the maintenance button within 11 seconds. Jeremy Bolt. The guard in the lower left is as tough as nails when on duty. But in private, he's a real mummy's boy. If fired, he will immediately call his mother and at her advice, seek out who he considers his best friend for support. My personal guard, as it stands. Me? Really? Well, that explains why he's always next to me at lunch. At the top right, you see Alicia Reynolds. Bright and very passionate about her job. However, also very possessive about her contribution. My prediction is that she will try to disable the work she has done for the ICA. If she's not allowed to enjoy her results, no one is. Specifically, that means she will try to enter the call room and disable the safety mechanism. I'll leave you to consider your choice of who you want me to use for the demonstration. Just let the guard outside the door know when you're ready, and I'll be right back. I will have a... Closer look. Maybe your project could play a part in the future of the ICA. Just let the guard outside the door know when you're ready, and I'll be right back. Oh, and if you decide to leave the room, a guard will escort you around. Safety protocol. Thought I'd just mention it. She really takes a term guard complex to a whole new level. Sitting in there pulling the strings like that. I think you should take her setup and give it a spin, 47. I see potential if you time it right. <laughs> 